on our outside zone. So for us, we our outside zone really supports our sweep, and we have two of them. Uh, we're like for us as running backs, we have that we're going to run a sweep. One is wide, so wide is in touching your chin. So wide right, wide left, right. One hand is always to the right, two is to the left. So deuce right is the formation, wide left, two hands to the chin. Okay. Now on this play, like I said, it's a stretch to the outside zone. But the thing is, it doesn't always hit outside. That's the thing about wide. It's you're pressing outside, and then once you see the hole, you're going to cut up. Uh, and that's the key. If you can do that, you're going to get a lot of yards in this play. If you don't, especially with the teams in our district, especially before the district before, they were very fast sideline to sideline. So if you try to outrun them, they were going to outrun you because they all ran four, four fives, four fours. They were fast. Maybe not four fours. They're pretty goddamn fast. So – when you see a hole, you got to cut up. So to help you all with that, like I said, I'm on screen share. I'm going to go ahead and go to my huddle account. My huddle's not pulled up. I got to get it. There we go. On my huddle account or on my, my browser, it was the sports sheet that was pulled up. But yeah, guys, so outside zone, running back basics. Little being real tired today. I don't know why. I'm on huddle. Hmm. That's weird. I'm reload. Let's see. I'll tell you what, I don't like technology when technology don't listen. Let's see. Let's get a little bit of time. Hmm. Not pulling up. Well, that's great. Working on these. So that one's good. It's just the outside zone. It's not working. Okay. Oh, there it is. All right. Awesome. It's just loading up. All right, guys, so outside zone. So on ride or wide, literally it is wide, like the run is going wide. It's real easy. Uh, on this play, you guys are always going to get the ball. The quarterback is going to do an automatic pass. So it's, it's an RPO because that's what we run in our offense, except it's either a running back give or it's a backside slant. So on wide, again, outside run play or outside zone, you're lining up opposite of the call. So if it's wide right, you're lining up on the left. If it's wide left, you're lining up on the right. So – pretty easy again you're going to run through the toe line of the qb that's kind of a weird verbiage to use but the way i'll put it is because you're on the heels of the quarterback when that ball snapped you want to run through his toes and the reason is is you if you come up field to get this handoff you're making it you're giving the defense a closer you're closing the space you have to them okay so again as you run through that toe line of the qb you don't want to drift forward. You really don't. You want to go side on side until you see a hole, then you're going to make your cut and get up field. You don't really want to come up. So if you get this handoff and then you start coming towards this line and then trying to push outside, these guys have more of a chance of getting their hand on you, especially that front side DN. He's the one that's going to really make this play tough. All right, if you can make your cut off this guy, great. If our lineman does his job and blocks him, we shouldn't have to worry about him. But a lot of the time it's a hard – that is a hard play for that tackle to reach, especially if he's a five technique. He's going to use a get outside. And if he runs up the field, you're just going to cut up here, and then you're going to be a running back. You're going to be an athlete. All right, so some pressing points. Uh, run down the line of scrimmage. Again, you're running straight. If there's a straight line, that's what you're trying to run down. All right, and another, another uh, saying I like to say is flat or crack. And what that means is when it comes to the linemen. So, like, if you see a butt flat, you keep pushing outside. If you see him turn his butt, like the lineman actually turn the defender one way or the other, you see crack, his butt crack, you're going to run right behind that because that means he's created a hole. He's created an alley, okay? So, again, you see his butt flat, like he's blocking the dude straight up and he hasn't got to turn him or anything. You keep pushing outside. If you see him turn him at all, cut up. Go ahead and start getting yards downhill, all right? And it'll make more sense when you see it live. 
But the thing is, just the problem that people have with wide, especially younger backs like freshmen, sophomores, is they want to keep running. Uh, they want to keep pushing something. So, again, when you see that crack, got to cut up. All right. So, coaching points again, flat or crack. Be ready to stick foot quick. That's the same thing as this. Is when you see that whole stick foot, get up field. Don't keep trying to get to the sideline. And then also run through the throw, throw line of the uh, QB to start. Uh, tips of the G, uh, DNs, shoots up the field. Be ready to stick foot quick and get up field. Also, carry out your fake because, again, guys, it's an RPO. If you don't get the ball, what we're doing is backside running slants, two slants. That's why you see this uh, route right here. On the play side, our wide receivers are going to block for you, so we should have our slot, our tight end blocking, the outside linebacker, and then the corner is probably going to get to that safety. If we can, we want to get you one-on-one -on -one versus that corner because we, we like our chances there. So if that is done, let's see if we can get a little bit of film. All right. So this is us versus Canyon. And Benito in the backfield again. Let's see how he starts. So the first thing he's got to do is go, is go through the toe line of the QB. So he came up a little forward. Again, he's got to come through that toe line. I know it sounds weird. So he should come right where that foot is, right through that yard mark. He's going to come up a little bit. But, again, you want to go straight through that toe line. Now he's going to see that crack. He sees our uh, Dixon, our tight end, turn that guy right there. So he's going to cut up into the hole. Pretty decent run. And, again, guys, it's important. When you see him turn that guy, you got to go and cut up. If you keep trying to push it, it's not always going to work. So, like, if you try to keep pushing outside, if he kept pushing outside, guess what? This guy's here to make the play. This guy's also going to be in the way. But because he cuts it up, he's going to go ahead and get a little bit of a, a, a better play, I'd say, right here. He gets about eight or nine right there. Not a bad run. And this is him on a bum ankle last year. This, uh, his last two games of the year, he sprained his ankle twice. He sprained at the beginning of the week on uh, versus Smithson Valley. Then this week of practice, he hurt it, so he was kind of gimpy. All right, us for steal, same thing, wide right. Pretty good job. And again, I put this play in here, guys, not because it's anything flashy. It's not a great, you know, breakout play. But you'll see, he sees, all right, crack right here. This guy's laying this block. I got to cut up now because if he keeps pushing outside, this guy has outside leverage. So he's going to keep stringing it out. And then this corner's coming as well. So, Again, instead of getting one or two, maybe no yards, he's going to cut it up and get us five. It's a good run. Solid. Solid football. Again, guys, wide isn't always all the way to the sideline. you got to read those blockers and get what you can. Another one right here. Again, good job of him. He sees crack. He, cut, he sticks foot and gets upfield. Again, guys, if you see it, this outside linebacker has contained. If he keeps pushing outside, he's running into this guy and this outside linebacker. Why is not always going to get to the sideline? That's just something I just I keep saying because for some reason, everyone they hear why they go, oh, I got to get all the way to the sideline. Then I then I start trying to make moves. No, man, you cut it up before that, then you're an athlete because then you got more space to work with. It's a good solid cut right there. Pretty pretty good play. Diggle right there. All right. One more time against United. We're actually going to play United South in one of our scrimmages. We got part of our schedule. The coaches did. We saw it. So I don't know if that's been put out publicly, but uh, United South, which is like this is United North. United South is their brother school, right, right, real close to them. They like to shoot their D end up the field. So we have to be ready to stick foot quick. Solid run right there. And let's see. See, right here, I would honestly have told Benito, hey, man, keep pushing outside. Because if you see it, flat, flat. Does that make sense, guys? Hey, when I say flat or crack, if you see the O lineman's butts, and again, this is you being an athlete, you see here. I guess if you can see, he saw crack right there. That's why he made his cut. I see right here why he made this cut. But again, if you would have seen that, Right there where his butt's flat, right? He hasn't got it. He hasn't turned him either way. That's when you go ahead and keep pushing outside. And, again, Dixon hasn't turned him either 
But again, I know where Benito saw. Benito saw this right here. He saw him turn this guy right here. So he cut it up, made a guy miss. Got us about five, six yards. Tough, solid run right there. You can see it from this angle right here. But again, pushing that side. He sees crack, cuts a feel. Makes the dude miss, keeps his feet running. That's one thing I like, guys. If you're running back, keep your feet running. Once you get hit, do not stop your feet. Get that little Hispanic dude right there that weighs 120 pounds and carries some dudes. I know you guys that weigh a little more can as well. Now, you might say, well, coach, that was weird. That wasn't the running back. You're right. Guys, if we have a motion, if we have a saber cat or a wild cat motion into a wide, wide right or wide left, we're going to go and be the lead blocker, okay? So you're going to get that first guy outside of whoever the tight end gets. So this is right here. This was uh, Trey Wright. So Trey Wright. This was a – it was Trey Wright. Then it would be a wildcat. Wide right. And, again, you're lining up play side. If we know we're going to have to be the lead blocker, we're lining up play side now, not back side. And we're going to go and get to the first guy outside that tight end. Whoever he doesn't get, we're getting that next guy. So – what this player should do right here is cut this guy down. He, he should go and cut him down. He tries to face him up, guys, as a running back. It's usually easier just to cut the guy. Now, a guy like a Kanui, I go like Kanui, you're pretty big. You're pretty broad-shouldered. You could probably go and square a guy up. But someone like an Aaron or a Junior or a Michael, go cut him, okay? If he would have gotten that guy, maybe Ty gets a couple more yards. Ty's a pretty good big dude. But, again, he squares him up. The dude comes off the block. Still a five, six-yard game. But that's another thing, guys. When you hear wide, it could be a play where we get the handoff or it could be a play where we have to go be the lead blocker. And that's, again, if we hear a wildcat or a saber cat into that wide. Okay, and those are our emotions, by the way. Wildcat to the weak side coming across. Saber cat from the strong side going to the weak. You don't got to worry about that. But just know if you hear a wildcat or saber cat before the wide, you're going to line a play side, and now you're the lead blocker, okay? Same thing right here. That's just another wide. Let me catch that one. I thought I wanted to say I put one in here. There's a pass. Oh, that's another, again, see the Wildcat? Got to go be the lead blocker. And right here, you just got to go find somebody, guys. So right here, don't dance. Go to the first guy you see right there. Just go and cut him down. Or, again, five yards past line scrimmage, go block him. But don't go and dance. If you dance, you're not going to touch anybody, and then you're just going to get in the way. As it happens right here, because you dance, you got a fast guy, an H behind you running. You're going to get in his way, and you just give him less running lanes. So just go run at that guy. Make him commit. I think this one right here is finally the pass. Hopefully it is. Let's see. Uh, just another wide. Okay. All right. So, and by the way, guys, wide can be a pass. So, even if you don't get the ball there, carry out your fake. And it won't be a fake like the quarterback's going to put the ball in your belly on wide. If he sees backside, they're creeping up for a blitz, and he sees a backside slant open, it's a pre-snap read. He's just getting that ball. He's just turning his shoulders. He's firing it. He's not even going to play fake. You're just running in front through that toe line. Um, you're carrying out the fake. He's the one that's got to step back to not get his feet run over to make that throw, okay? Now, Cheetos. Cheetos is our veer. So, in Cheetos, it's the same thing for you. It's an outside zone, outside run play. The only difference is, is if you don't get the ball, the quarterback's going to keep it, and he's going to run behind our puller. It can be our center or our guard. Right here in this 3-4, it'd be the center pulling. And the quarterback, like I said, if he doesn't give it to you, he's running right up the gut. And we're reading that DN right there. That DN uh, shoots up the field. The quarterback's keeping it. That DN comes down. He's giving it to you. Or if that DN stays, because sometimes that DN will just kind of read step, and he'll try to play both. We're giving it to you. So we think you're faster than that DN. So same pressing point, same – you're lining up opposite the call on Cheetos. Uh, pressing point, press down the line of scrimmage, look for flatter crack, cut a feel, all the same coaching points as wide, guys, and nothing's different. And again, these are our two outside zones, uh, wide and Cheetos.
And just so you see what it looks like. And again, you have to carry out your fake. If you don't get the ball, carry out your fake, guys. So right here, you see it? First play I show you guys of Cheetos. Running back's not going to get the ball. And actually, that was a that was a Cheetos. That was a Wildcat. That was a Wildcat into a Cheetos. So again, your play side, you're going to block. You got it. It's the same thing as wide. So if we have wide or Cheetos, and Cheetos is call as a belly, one to the bellies to the right, two to the bellies to the left. Because again, you eat Cheetos, right? So belly. But again, if you hear a Wildcat or a Saber Cat into the Cheetos, that means your play side, you're blocking. It's just like if wide was. All right. The only difference is, again, the quarterback could give it to the wide receiver or he can keep it, okay? Again, this is how our offense works, guys. We're No matter what, we're trying to make the defense wrong. And on that play, I'd say for the running back, Benito's too slow. He's got to get out. If you know you have to lead block guys, cheat your alignment. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. So if he knows he might have to block this running back, Benito, he's got to cheat, not over the guard. He's got to get over that tackle or even in between the tackle tight end. Because, again, this – the H coming across is going full speed, all right? He is going full speed, and you have to outrun him and go get and block somebody before he gets there. So you got to cheat out, and you got to go, okay? So he's way too tight. That's bad alignment right there. He's got to cheat out. And then, again, he's going about 75%. He's trying to feel out the guy. You got to see pre-play where you're probably going to have to get, and you got to go to him. Cheetos right there. Again, Savion slipped. But again, you got to carry out your fakes. Here we go. Again, Cheetos right. Now, again, if you look right here, what's one thing the running back didn't do? Somebody. First thing I'm going to say, it's one thing he didn't do. You can unmute yourselves, guys. It's okay. He didn't step forward. Yeah, well, he, he steps forward too much. So I want him to do this toe line right here. See where that QB's front toe is? He's turning his shoulders. He's running down the 40-yard line. That should be what he's doing. Savion comes up, and you see him. He's already starting to run up the field. Now, Savion's also – he's real kind of finicky. He was real raw. I mean, he probably got two weeks of practice at running back, and he's having to play on varsity because of injuries. Um, and he was also hurt before that, so he was real raw. I would say you need to push down that line of scrimmage more, and then when you see it cut up, but he's already making his way up the line of scrimmage. That's what I would have said about that one right there. You got to get flat first on these outside zones, and then when you see the cut, make it. And also, his ball security is bad. Oh, he had so many fumbles. You got to go high and tight with that ball. Fastest way to get yourself on the sideline is fumble the ball. Especially this year, we're going to have – we have a returner, guys. We got – we got a guy that played JV running back for two years. He knows the offense. So if you, again, if you want to find your way on the bench, fumble the ball. Go ahead, fumble it. Now, again, guys, that was it for Cheetos. I didn't want to get too much in there because it's the same thing as wide. The only thing is, guys, carry out your fakes because, again, if you don't get that ball, the quarterback is. And if you can at least get the outside or inside linebacker to follow you, you make it easier on our guy right here, the signal caller. And this was Alex. Alex isn't back this year. Uh, he's trying to go play college football somewhere. He actually played baseball with us this year. Hadn't played baseball since he was 10. And he played. He's actually got a little bit of PT. He's a pretty good athlete. But uh, quarterbacks next year could be Noah Stubblefield. Could be uh, DeLeon, the freshman, who's going to be a sophomore. It could also be Cannon. I know he's working out with the quarterbacks, too, and he's a pretty good athlete. So, now, I also did put in one other play, um, just so y'all can see. Just time-wise, again, it's, it's 8.50, so I'm, I'm going to get y'all out here pretty quick. I want to go over one pass play a week, at least for right now, until we get to where we're done with all our run plays, um, just so you guys can slowly begin to learn it. So one, way, one play we went over last week was swing, which was swing was literally the, the running back runs to the play side. It's for a swing pass. It's very simple, nothing hard. This week, or at least for today, we're going to go over smokes, right, smoke right, smoke left, and nows, which is this. Now is this is the sign. I want my money now, okay? Now, get it to be quick. And then the smoke is obviously like a cigarette, smoke. All right? For the running back, 
for smokes and nows for both places. Those are two different plays. So for a smoke and for a now, it's very simple. You're actually just going to line up to the play side and you're running in front of the QB. Like you're coming up forward, like at a 45 degree angle and you're just faking. And if there's an open blitzer, you cut them down. And it's just so we can keep these linebackers in here to respect the run. You're really just doing a play action fake, but you're not getting that close to the QB because he's just going to catch in a free release into his throw. Okay, so this is like a smoke right here. But then we put Darren in pistol. We were telling him what's how to go to, and you're going to see it. You didn't get it. He's just going to fake. And again, and by doing that, you guys see the action you get here by these guys. By he's by him coming in here and faking, it's a good fake. He's opening up a pocket. He's clamping down. He's making the defense think, I'm getting this ball right here. And it's hard for them to see all that because all they're seeing is that from the running back. And they're seeing the QB come here to throw. So it's just going to – I just want you to keep your eyes on right here. Good fake. You got the Mike linebacker coming up. This guy sat. This guy was late by a half a step. That gives this guy more room to make guys miss. Gives him more space. Half a step to a whole step is a big difference in football, guys. Again, Diego's there. Makes a couple guys miss. Good job. It's a good nine-yard play, 10-yard play. All right. And again, let's go ahead and go from this angle so you can see it pretty tight right here. And all it is, again, guys, you're just coming 45 degrees. Clamp down just so you get them to freeze. Guys, again, it's half a second. If they freeze, you've done your job. I'm telling you, you got to be unselfish. If you do little things like that, guys, that's what coaches like to see. College coaches, if you do little things, details. There's a lot of athletes out there in the world. A lot of guys can run the ball, but can you carry out face? Can you run routes? Can you catch passes? Can you block to what you want to go be D1? Freaking go do all that stuff, and then you can add in blocking. That's what made Ezekiel Elliott the freaking fourth pick for the Cowboys. One of the things he could do that no one else could do was he could block. He could pick up pass coverage. And yeah, and same thing as smokes and now. So it's not different. Uh, the only difference is, guys, a smoke goes to the outside receiver, inside receiver blocks, and now the inside receiver is getting the ball and the outside receiver blocks. That's the only difference. Um, it just depends on how defenses will line up. So, like, that right there was a now. Because, again, inside receiver went out, outside receiver went and go block. Again, nice 10-yard gain. Again, if you can carry out a good fake – it, it, guys, it does a lot for our offense because everything's our, our run best option. Again, just that fake. You had this guy take two, three steps in. He's not even going to be in the play. And this guy was a dude. He had over 100 tackles for recent. He was first team all district. He's out of this play now. This outside linebacker, he's already taken two steps in. This linebacker right here, he is gonna, it's going to take him a little bit more time to get outside now. Can't even get in the play, and that's because of the fake. Okay, the fake matters, and that's on a smoke. And a now. Now, right there, I put that clip in here for a reason. This is not a good job. Again, no offense to Savion. He's a little raw. He steps too close to the QB, almost gets in his throwing lane. Again, guys, you got to step up 45 degrees faking so you don't get in his way. See, he stops so soon, he doesn't even care about a good fake. So that linebacker is already bailing, he's not even sticking in the box. And he almost got to the QB's arm path. So make sure you guys are clearing when you're fake. All right. That's why I put that one in there to show you what not to do. Again, raw, man. He was raw last year. He, he ain't know what he was doing. Didn't fake. Got in the QB's way. Good athlete, though. Good kid. He'll learn. Again, this is for him, for that play right there. He hadn't taken any running back reps all week, but uh, Benito got hurt, Diego got hurt, and we didn't want to put Moses out there. It was already kind of a bad score, so we said we'll let him get some reps and learn trial by fire. So he did what he could, man, you know, learning on the fly. Um, but all right, guys, that's it. So we went over wide right, wide left. We went over Cheetos, again, the belly, because we eat Cheetos. Cheetos right, Cheetos left. and for the running back, we went over smokes and nows, right? Real simple. Uh, guys, do you have any questions for me? Is this going to be posted on YouTube again? or? Yeah, I put one up last night, by the way. If y'all looked, I should have put the one up for uh, 
for cutback and slice that should be up again i don't know how long it takes to load because any like any youtube video that's that long it takes a while for it to load but um it did go up and i will put this one up again i put these on zoom so um they should go up guys and again it'll be on sports you so if you guys want to look at it, it's there it's on youtube too but i always i'll post them on sports you first once they're like eligible on youtube so but guys if there's no questions is that it y'all guys good yes can yes, sir. good aaron I right, text your teammates. Tell me to get their butts up here on Wednesday, same time, 8.30. We'll go over our down zone. So we're going to go over – we'll go over power, and we're going to go over – we'll go over power, and we'll go over – probably not counter. We'll get into it. But either way, we're going to go over power for sure because that's a big play for us. Uh, that's down zone. We're going to change some technique from last year. Me and Coach Schrunk talked about it. So we're going to change up a, a couple things to make it – easier for our linemen to get in front of us, okay? So that'll be on Wednesday, 9 or um, 9.30, 8.30, uh, normal time. You guys be good, be safe, uh, be healthy. And, again, go outside and run today. Don't just sit inside all day. Go outside, go get some sprints and do this uh, work that Coach Sierra put up. It's on Sports U, okay? Okay. Okay, Coach. All right. Yes, sir. All right. All right, guys. Hey, y'all take care. I miss y'all. Again, if y'all need anything, email me. Um, message me on Sports U. Honestly, the fastest way is probably email me. Legit, email me. I, I look my email all the time. If you ever need to talk about anything. But uh, anyway, guys, take care of yourselves. I'll see y'all later. All right, Coach. Later, Coach.